I'll clean up and you're here watching TV. Oh, I just had a flashback just thinking about it. Okay, my uterus is hurting. Oh, you lost me at uterus. Oh. Oh. And seriously, it's like you after. Need, I do not you, go after you her. You so do. You go I after I start her. having a normal conversation. Stop it. And this is Clean House, the show that rescues families from a cluttered home. We pull it all out, sell it at a yard sale, and then match the proceeds up to $1,000. But they don't get to keep that money. We use it for the renovating and decorating. The cleaning, painting, and organizing are all on us. How do I do all that I do? You know it's not by myself. There's Trish Sir. She's my yard sale. Eva. My handsome go-to guy, ooh, it's Matt Eisman. And the designer with all the magic, none other than Mark Brunette. What are you doing? You're adding something else to the pile? Meet the squabbling Chabelle sisters. Patricia. Oh my god, there's so much stuff already. And Jackie. Do you don't even live here, so why do you even Yeah, care? but I don't want to come over. So They've been sibling rivals their whole lives. Oh my god, I can't believe it. But it's the clutter in this home that may have brought them to the breaking point. It belongs to their mother, Chris Chabelle, a 75-year-old community activist nicknamed the Godmother of Hollywood. I've been involved in Hollywood politics since 1975. But 30 years of memorabilia has turned her house into the Hollywood Mess Museum. Why do we still have the piano here? I prefer to keep it. Now it's even worse because Jackie, a single mother-to-be, has moved back in and brought all of her stuff with her. She brought her entire three-floor, two-bedroom condo and all its entire contents. Financially, it made sense. We would help each other. And mom, she really wanted to be a part of the baby's life. To make room for her new grandbaby, Miss Chris is ready to let go of her clutter. But who's going to clear it out? Jackie has been sidelined with morning sick. Hey, Mom. Hi, sir. How and are the you? one thing these sibling rivals agree on, Miss Chris is in no shape to do any heavy lifting. She's had two strokes, five heart attacks. Oh, my God, what is all this? That leaves it all up to the one person who doesn't even live here. I can't believe you two. I'm trying to help clean up, and you're here watching TV. So Patricia called Clean House. We need Clean House because I'm pregnant, there's no place for me here, and there's no place for the baby. At 75, I do not intend to keep cleaning until I'm pushing up the daisies. Hey! Hello. Welcome to it, people. All right, here's what I know. Chris Chabelle lives in this house, has lived here for many years, all right? But now she's not living alone. Her daughter Jackie moved in, who's having a baby. <laughs> But she's not the one who called the show. What? There's a sister who doesn't live here, Patricia, who called the show. We better get in there. What the hell? <laughs> Already? I don't know if I want to see the inside. Uh -uh. Hi. Are these the Chabelle sisters? Yes. yes. Who's who? I'm Jackie, the pregnant one. And I'm Patricia, and I'm the non-pregnant one. <laughs> Ladies. Y'all got clutter out here on the porch. And that's her. Oh, is there more in there? Yeah. Oh, there was a lot more in there. A lot more. Take us to it. All right, come, come on. on in. Whoa. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. This is a continuation of the same thing that's on the porch. Yep. It's not mine. It's hers and my mother's. Look, I had a three-story condo that I moved in here, you guys. And then on top of, you know, with my mom's stuff, here you go. Where is your mother? She's very stressed out by all this, so we took her to the hotel. She made her stressed out. I, I, oh. hey, your mother is stressing me out. I, she got my mother? I mean, she's I'm not mother. Stop the violence! Ugh. When did you start moving in here? 
two months ago. Were you pregnant then? Yes. So you were pregnant and you wanted to move into a cluttered house. I really did not think it through. In theory, a great idea. Once I got here, it was like, uh-oh, what are we going to do? Uh-oh, it's more than uh-oh. At what point was it okay just to collect a mattress right in the middle of the living room? We had no place else to put it. So you sleep here? That's where I've been sleeping. Mm. And people say I'm country. Patricia, then, I guess we can gather by all this, you're not responsible for any of this clutter. Right. How long has your mother lived here? 31 years. So this is your childhood home? Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. Got it. Was it always cluttered? Yes. And it's just all this accumulation over the years. And when we moved out, we left stuff, and then my mom is collected. There's stuff in like every nook and cranny in here. And every time I go talk to my mother, she will just get upset and but, she starts crying and then she storms out locks okay. herself in her bedroom. She's the leaving door. something that's really important out, you guys. She pretty much yells at my mother. So I don't yell. I, well, it's she not the like, point now. No, you've been doing this for years. She goes after my mother and I seriously is like, you after, need, I do not you, go after you her. Do. You go I after her. I start having a normal conversation of like, how about if we let go of some of this stuff? Seriously, you two, knock it off or I'll send you to your rooms with no dinner. And she goes, it's my stuff. I don't want to let go of it. Stop it. How pregnant are you? I'm over three months. Did you move in to help your mother or to have your mother help you? It was actually for both of us. Economy today, so things have slowed down work-wise. And also my mom is really frail. It's really tough for her to get around. So it was just a great time for me to help my mom. She's helping me. She gets to be here with the babies born. What is all this I'm looking at over your shoulder? I have like a little corner of the dining room table that I do my little computer work at. Can, is... can we step over there and take yes, a look? Yes, come Sorry, on but... down. Ah, uh, you just got busted. This is your office? Well, actually, this corner of the desk is my office. And this is also the dining room. And no dining going on. No dining. <laughs> You've got bookcases back here, shelving that's empty. Well, that's actually my CD rack. So you said, I'm going to put the display case up for my music, but I'm not going to put the music in there. <laughs> I have been too weak to do anything. So you throw up, so you come back, you do something. This house looks like it's in gorgeous condition. It really is in great shape, except for, well, you know, I think if the mirrors were done. No, the mirrors are 70s. Would you mind having a little chit chat while uh, Trisha and Maddie take a look around? Absolutely. You not at all, just not be careful. Problem. No wonder their mama decided to go to a hotel. Since your mom has entrusted you with the clutter, has she entrusted you with the design as well? Yes. Yes. I'm telling you right now, it's going to go my way. So tell me what it is your mom would like. She wants like this really sharp looking, ultra contemporary kind of flashy White thing going on. White couch. And she loves jewel tones. Jewel tones? Why do I feel like that's what you love? I I I uh -huh. like that too. Yes, Jackie, I did call you out. Deal with it, Diva. Give me a sense of your style. Well, I'm contemporary and I like comfort. And what's your favorite color? I would say like a red like this. I think Mark is looking pretty confused if you ask me. Would this restore itself to a dining room? Yes. OK. Mm -hmm. So living room, dining room, ultra contemporary, clean line, modern, not modern, red. If confusion had a color, it would look like a white sofa, jewel tones, ultra modern, modern, red. Just name it. If you got it. You're yeah. good. Oh my god, this poor man, he's never going to be able to do it. So I don't know what you want to call this room. I call it the side room. Oh my. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. I see what happened to our friend before us. That is uh, all my Halloween stuff, and then also my clothes. And actually, a lot of this is also uh, some storage of my mother's. Side room, porch, closet, catch all. Good luck, Mark, figuring that one out. You just have this little tiny room off to the side, stuff to the max. Mm -hmm. What do you intend to do with it? I have been imagining maybe making this a little baby's room. <laughs> a baby's room? Is this not a porch? Well, Has she lost her damn mind? It's yes, a porch. But it would have to be uh, something else because there's it, no room. Excuse me. What? 
mother to be, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> Girl, you can't put a baby in there. Perhaps you have enough here for what one could use as a baby station, but not a baby's room. I would like the baby to be with me in my room, wherever that's going to be. So what'd you call it, Nash? A baby station. A baby you station. Can't, it's not a baby room. Oh, baby station. Kind of like a pit crew for small people. You put a diaper on them, zoom, zoom, zoom. Diaper, bottle, in the mouth, slap them on the butt and send them out. Wait a minute, you said where your room would be. Does that mean that there's hope that you have a nook or a cranny that we haven't seen that you want to move into? I, I have an idea. How about we let her climb out of there and we follow you to it? OK, I'm taking you to it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, squeeze on hey. in. Whoa. Whoa. This is where you want your bedroom to be? Well, that would be, in theory, a great thing, I think. This is my mother's office. She's been involved in Hollywood politics for over 30 years. And she got Woman of the Year in the state of California twice. And um, she has kind of an unofficial nickname of the Godmother of Hollywood. I went one time with her to lunch. And um, we were sitting with somebody. And they said, well, I have a problem. And they told her the problem. And she said, let me make a call. And I was like, oh my god, who are you? And what you do with my mother? <laughs> She's the Godmother of Hollywood? Well, let me make her an offer she can't refuse. Declutter. In the conversations that you've had with your mother, how do they end with regards to this space? Pretty much me saying, Mom, I really like this as my room and the baby's room. And she's like, let me make a call. <laughs> I'm just playing, Miss Griff. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> She and I have had some conversations about how we can possibly move this or do something with the books. She's had the books forever. In fact, uh, Trish, those are your books up there. Busted. I love those books. Little snitch. That's like the only thing I have here. Ah, Patricia, not as innocent as you first said you were. So this would be your bedroom. Mm -hmm. This would be where the baby sleeps. Mm -hmm. Do we need to maintain your mother's office then in another location? Yes. Uh, OK, come again. Because I have a little office space, too, so, so we were. If I'm hearing you right, you want to have two desks. You want this to be your bedroom. You want a living room, a dining room, and a baby station. I can barely turn around. Is that too much to ask? I need to sit down. You know what I need? I need to have a chit chat with the two of you right now. Mm. OK. Can y'all excuse us? No yes. problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Now, will you shut this fine? <laughs> Ladies, here, let's let's sit down somewhere. Wait, wait. <gasps> Woo OK, this is tricky. Because they want to cram 17 functions into, like, two and a half rooms? Or because the mom's not even here and both daughters are acting like designers by proxy. And if we get it wrong, we can end up sleeping with the fishes. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's collect anything and everything for the design that's contemporary. Ladies, I'm just curious what you all think is going on here. Well, the big picture is that my mother has not let go of stuff for a very long time. But my sister is enabling her and keeping her from letting go of anything. And just kind of going along with doing the smiley, like, I'm the good sister thing. I'm the good one. You're the black sheep. What's wrong with being a black sheep? <clears throat> I'm curious why you called her the good sister and you refer to yourself as the black sheep. There's this perception in our family that she's the, the good sister, and I'm the troublemaker. We have a complete difference of opinion on the way things need to happen. I just keep looking at this going, oh my god, this is just getting worse, not better. And she's going along with it. She's placating it. See, you know? that's not true. I'm not going along with it. And it's, you know, I just am really compassionate. I just handle it differently. My sister, she's been such a bull in a china shop that I've been like, OK, she's crazy. <gasps> Can we all just get along? Coming up, big sister Patricia can dish it out, but can she take it? It's really upsetting. It's a, just a very hard thing to do. And later, the bigger the mirror, the badder the luck.
I just keep looking at this going, oh my God, this is just getting worse, not better. And she's gone along with it. She's placating it. See, you know? that's not true. I just handle it differently. What it smells like <laughs> is passive aggressive and tough love. Uh-huh. But how do you feel like that affects your mom? It's a lot of stress on her. I mean, she sees us going toe to toe, and she, then she tries to break it up, and it's very stressful. So then you tell me what you're thinking. I mean, it's suffocating in here. We don't know how long she's gonna be around. I don't want her to have this life. It's really upsetting. It's a, just a very hard thing to do. I was really shocked to see my sister break down. I really didn't think she was so attached to the situation. It hurts a lot. My mom, she's 75 years old. She's frail. She really told us once that she thought she was going to go by and she's 75, so. But we want her to live longer. And If she's blessed and fortunate enough to have days added to her life, you want her to be happy and at peace with this situation. I'm really afraid that my mom, with how her health is, that it's it's kind of a race against the clock in having a place that she's going to love to live in and for her to be happy. This is not the woman that was voted Woman of the Year, to have all this stuff around here and to have that be her, the purpose in her life. Well, when your children are at odds, sometimes you focus on other things. She's going to make some calls. She's going to shuffle through <laughs> all these papers on her desk. So what would really be a blessing for your mother as for the two of you, lay aside some of your differences or the, even the way you communicate those differences so that your mother could just see the love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you're absolutely right. We've been banging our heads against the wall a long time and it's not working. When you go to the hotel, eke out some time for a sister date. Huh? I'm ready. I'm ready to do what it takes. Are you ready? I'm ready. I absolutely love and adore my sister. We really just want the best for my mom. Mwah. My sister. Well, I guess ain't nobody gonna kiss me, so we don't <laughs> with this conversation. Hey, Jackie. Hey. Ooh. Hey, Trish. I'd like to talk to you, my dear, about this giant, gorgeous piano. My mom bought this with the house 30 years ago. She's pretty attached to it. And obviously, she must play the piano. No. No, she doesn't. She doesn't play the piano at all. Do either but, you or Patricia? No. What? Then how do you think your mom's going to feel when I ask the question, can it go to the yard sale? No, we've talked about this, and she is totally against doing anything. She loves this piano. I say, Mom should keep it because if she wants it, she should keep it. And then my sister's like, oh, no, it's got to go. So Patricia says go. You say stay. Because you're okay. looking out for your mom's best interests. Exactly. And your mom's best interests are to keep the piano. Yeah. Okay, wait. Nobody can play the piano, and you bought it when you got the house. Do you need me to ask again? Since your mother entrusted you with the decision-making in this house, can it go into the yard sale? Ah! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna make the executive decision and say yes. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay. Piano okay. goes to the sale. It's going. I'm fine with my mom's piano going in the yard sale, but she might be singing another tune. <laughs> Patricia, come on in. Hey! Hey! So, how many books does your mom have, Patricia? Oh, it's easily over a 1,000. Wow. So in a perfect world, you'd be like, let's clear them all out. 90% of them. How would your mom feel about getting rid of 90% of the books? Well, she has this thing for dictionaries. We have, like, Dictionary of American Slang. They make a dictionary for slang? <sighs> That's what I learned on. Yeah. So then we're going to lighten Mama's book load down to 90%. Yes. Does that mean I get 100% of your books out to the sale? What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> This isn't even about me. It's about my mother and my sister. My books are just a little, that's part of the 10%. Well, why haven't you moved them to your house then? I already have some books on my bookshelf. I don't want to end up with this. Patricia, I need that space. Because this is the future home of Jackie and Baby. All right, when you put it that way. Yes, those can go. 
So let me be really clear. For the yard sale, I can have 90% of your mama's books and all of your books. Yeah. I am so happy that my mother's books are out of here. My books, not so sure. Jackie, come here. Oh, Hi. Well, let me be straight with you. I am a space expert. I already have a good idea what will work in your space. So I'm just going to level with you. Let's just take it from the front porch mm -hmm. right out to the yard sale. What? I don't think so. I have never asked someone to give up an entire front porch full of stuff. This is good. I have some really nice stuff, really expensive furniture. Oh, if it was really nice and it was really expensive, why is it sitting on your front porch? There's no way. Mmm. Not gonna hey. do it. <laughs> Hi. No way. No way. No way what? No way. All this stuff is gonna go straight out in the yard sale. There, absolutely this no stuff, way. I don't know if you really need what's out here on this porch. I felt like I needed it before. That was then. This is now. Uh, yeah, this is now. <laughs> absolutely no. Coming up, girl, it gets worse. Oh! Jackie and I get up close and personal. OK, my uterus is hurt. Plus, Patricia loses her cool. You are such a liar. Hi, it's Chris Shabell. Community activist Chris Shabell is known as the godmother of Hollywood. She works to make Tinseltown a better place to live. I've been involved in Hollywood politics since 1975. But while Miss Chris might merit a star on the Walk of Fame, her house definitely doesn't. She has 30 years of clutter jammed into her vintage Hollywood craftsman. And on top of that, her pregnant daughter Jackie has just moved back home, lugging all of her stuff along which doesn't sit well with battling sister Patricia. I cannot believe mom had so much stuff already and you just brought your whole apartment here? She brought her entire three floor, two bedroom condo and all its entire contents. First, Jackie reluctantly agreed to get rid of mom's dust collecting piano. And say yes. Okay, yes. Yes. Piano goes to the sale. It's going. Next. Patricia let go of almost a thousand books belonging to her and her mom. I can have 90% of your mama's books and all of your books. Yeah. But now I've got a much bigger problem. The entire front porch is full of Jackie's fine furnishings. You thought you could take a three bedroom condo and force it into your mom's. That was my plan, but I guess it sucked. I was going to switch it out. That was my original idea. But you didn't. Well, I've been sick this whole time, too, so uh, since I moved in. Let me tell you something, girl. It gets worse. Oh, my. Oh, I just had a flashback just thinking about it. <laughs> OK, my uterus is hurt. Oh, you lost me a uterus. If I could gift something that you feel like you need for the design, what would it be? You made it very clear that you needed a desk for your mom and a desk for you. If we could have two nice, beautiful desks, because okay. I know that's a lot, so they have to be really nice. They will be gorgeous, top of the line, what not, and carrying on. Mm. All right, we'll do it. it. Just, I'm trusting you guys that it's gonna be great. Mark, if he doesn't do a great job, my mother is gonna make a phone call and he's gonna be sleeping with the fishies. Did you have to bring up your uterus? Does hell go away, yeah? <sighs> Don't do it! Do it! Well, it's time for this sister act to get busy. Hey, Trish, what do you think about this? Oh, my God. The clock is ticking on our Hollywood yard sale, so my clean house crew will have to work overtime to get everything done. I guess that means it's time for me to say, and action. Oh, who are you? All right, here we are. It is yard sale day. Now, we pried everything we could away from Jackie and Patricia. We've got it out here, and it's priced to sell. A little bird just whispered in my ear and told me that the godmother of Hollywood has shown up. And I'm not scared. I'm gonna go back there and find her and 
give her a piece of my mind. Well, <clears throat> well, I'm just gonna go back there and say hi. Miss Chris was supposed to take it easy at the hotel on yard sale day, but it looks like the godmother of Hollywood wants to show us who's boss. Good morning, Miss Chris. Hi, how are you? Godmother of Hollywood. That's me. Yes, ma'am, Niecy Nash is my name. I understand that you got people running scared this morning. Little. My mom's right over there. Did she say anything about the piano? Uh-oh. Trish has to face the music when Miss Chris vetoes Jackie's executive decision. I played the scale on it this morning. Was that you are such a liar. Oh, no, 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 I played a, this morning. I have never seen you play that piano. I play Would I be on your hit list in the, of it all if, if I keep the piano out in the yard sale? She looks all sweet and adorable. Definitely yeah. can't go. But then, right in for the kill. I need to make a call. Okay, a little drama, but the show must go on. Hey, everybody! Are you ready to buy? Yeah! Yard sale's open! How about three bucks only? Okay, good. Sounds good, buddy. What's your favorite show? Yeah. Clean house it is. Can you do five dollars? Of course. Okay, 19 is your total. Oh, my goodness, the people in here, they're shopping. We're going crazy. I am interested in that bench. A couple plant stands in a frame and whatever this is. What are you gonna offer me for all this? Uh, 20 bucks. Can you do 30? No. I love a woman who's decisive. $20. <laughs> Pay the cashier right up there. These Hollywood folks bargain hard. $75? What if I dance for you and then, like, you can lower down the price? Like, so what? It might be tougher than I thought to make the money we need. So could you feel $15 for one of our dead celebrities? I could feel like four. Could you feel like seven? I think it would have more value if we knew exactly who it was. Okay, uh, 20? Girl! <laughs> that's not gonna okay, happen! You know. And you know when you go home, you're gonna be like, I can't believe I didn't pay $15 I'm... for that gorgeous car of wood pedestal. <laughs> now we go home and say, I can't believe I paid $15, <laughs> and I could have got 10! 65. Do you do payment plans? <laughs> what about payment plans? You don't have to lay away. Um... Yes! See what happens when we come together as sisters? We sell. Selling is what it's all about. Garden, garden, garden vegetables, yeah. garden, garden. Let me guess, you're growing garden. a vegetable garden. Yeah. Mark unloads some of Miss Chris's treasured books. Can we do $8 for all of it? Sure. And Patricia closes a deal in record time. We got the Yahtzee, and then there's a mini the fridge. fridge. 60 bucks. That's a good deal. Shake my Shake. Shake right in. <laughs> Bring it over here, people. Hey. I know you want to know how much money we need. Uh, yeah. I've got a bedroom, a dining room, a family room. I've got a baby station. Oh, no, 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 he, he. Lighten that load, because baby station is on us. It's all or. So dialing back. I'm feeling it. OK. $5,200. You didn't even think about it. No, 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 no I did. Uh, I'm gonna need 500 bucks because this house has 30 years of neglect that I have to make up for. So how about 5,700? What? You need how much? That's a big number to hit, and we can't make a hit like that without a blessing from the godmother. Seriously, Mom, we gotta talk about this piano situation. I am so frustrated. You make it look like we're, like, robbing you of this. It's so Mom, it's the fun we're trying to make it so we have a, so you guys have a beautiful house. Yeah. You entrusted us with taking care of it. Please let us do it. <sighs> she is killing me. Oh, you will put it in, in. You're going to put it back in. And you're going to you leave, leave it. it. And it's going to, if it sells or it goes, it goes. Can you swear me? All right, so the piano's back in. Okay, I'm sorry. In, out. This is too much of a headache. And it looks like Mark may be getting a headache managing this bidding war over Jackie's dining room set. Now we're okay. asking 400 for the table and the six chairs. One of you make an offer. 100. Oh, yeah. I need to make as much money as possible, please. Okay, so 100. Can you do like 125? 125. You can do 125? Okay, can you do 150? 125. 175? Can you do 200? What's there to think 200. about? 200. 200? Can you do 210? 210. Can you do 220? Okay, 220 going once, 220 going twice. 220. 220. We hear 220. Okay, can we do 230? 
No? So we're at 220. Okay, man. Okay. Come on now, get on yourself. Hey, okay. a fantastic table for $220. Mark sold Jackie's table, but the rest of her furniture isn't budget. So with time running out, we're slashing prices. Well, how about uh, five bucks for that? That's great. $100 for four chairs. So would you do 10 for everything? Sure. Yay! And cut! Well, not everything sold, and I'm not sure how the godmother of Hollywood is going to feel about giving away her goods. We're getting ready to load the piano. Because it didn't sell. I don't really care if my mother's nervous. She took the piano out of the picture, she put it back, we could have sold more. It can go. That's the swan song for the piano, Jackie's furniture, and a truckload of books. Now, with Miss Chris off to the hotel for much needed rest, it's time to find out how much money we made. Ladies, your mother's already headed off to the hotel? Yes. She's gone. Okay, well, so I can get you there. Okay. We need to find out how much money we made. Mark, how mm -hmm. much money did we need? Well, Matt and I collectively needed Five thousand seven hundred. I really hope we made the money we needed. Sisters, we made. Sisters, we made thirty-two thirteen. So okay, forty-two thirteen. We are uh, fourteen hundred eighty-seven dollars short. Oh. I want to recount. I'm a little nervous. Fifteen hundred dollars is a stretch. Okay, we are going to do our best. I want to remind you, ladies, that you got a little homework to do when you get to the hotel. That whole right. date you got to go on to lay aside some of your differences. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Get yeah. to get. Bye. Right. Bye, you guys. Bye. 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 Enjoy the hotel. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye. $1,500 short? I know. Listen up, you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't faint. Uh, OK. Listen up, you threes. Oh. I want you to figure out how this is going to work, and I want you to figure it out fast. Otherwise, <gasps> I know. What? We sleep with fishes. She just messed up everything I wanted to say. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm a little disappointed about being $1,500 short from what we need, but you know, I really have faith in Mark and his ability. Well, I guess Mark and my crew better get started. My team has to turn Miss Chris's office into a bedroom and make a side porch into a baby station. Good thing mom and the sisters are far across town at the Hotel La Petite where Miss Chris is already recuperating in her own private suite. Hi. We're the Shea Bell sisters, and we're here to check in. Woohoo! Let's hit the pool. Pool? Now hold on. First things first, ladies. No homework, no clean house. I need to tell you that it hurts me that you call yourself the perfect daughter. It's a little bit of a fun habit, so I don't... I don't mean to do it. It's just out of fun. Oh, make apologize. sure you get that memo to mom that that's the case, because mom believes it. I promise you, I will not say it anymore. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. When you refer to yourself as the black sheep, mom and I don't think that way about you at all, at all. We love you just the way you are. While the squabbling Chabelle sisters are settling their differences, I think it take a moment. my clean house team is showing some signs of stress. Can you get underneath with the crowbar? Yeah, can you do it? Okay. Well, why don't you send a black cat my way, too? Okay. Whoa! Thank okay. goodness everyone's okay. Well, except for the seven years of bad luck. Once the living room mirrors are down, Matt tricks out the old woodwork, and our crew uncovers a long-neglected fireplace. Meanwhile, <laughs> there's finally peace between the fighting Chabelle sisters, and all that love is going to flow towards Miss Chris, too. I think Nisi was right in saying that I need to change my approach with my mother. My approach from this point on will be, one, to stay out of it, and two, if I have to get into it, that I do it nicely. 
I really want to have a great relationship with my mom. But we are definitely going to have some rules around the house and really keep a standard of keeping the house clean. Well, the siblings have stopped fighting each other. Now they just hope they don't have to fight over Mark's design. Oh, OK, my rod is too long. The worst thing that Mark could do would be to paint everything white and bring in everything white and make it too stark and austere. I give you black and white. I can't believe Mom dear, interested us with that. So she trusted us. <laughs> <laughs> when I walk into my home, if there's something that I don't like, I will tell a clean house, definitely. All I've got to say is I hope I don't end up sleeping with the fishes when she sees them down hounds. It better be perfect for the godmother of Hollywood, y'all. It's time for the finishing touches. All right, here we are. It is our big day, reveal day. Now, so much has happened inside the house. I know you want to see it, but you got to wait a minute. Why? Because my family is here. Hey. Welcome back, ladies. How are you? How, how was the hotel? It was fabulous. It was fabulous. We loved it. Really relaxing. Yeah? I'm yeah. ready to go back. You're ready to go back? Whoa, well, wait a minute. Can I show you some things first? Yes. <laughs> We're so excited. I will ask you, godmother of Hollywood, how did you feel in uh, your office space before? A little crowded. Little crowded? Yes. Just a little. <laughs> well, take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Wow. Oh, my God! Take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Wow. Oh, my wow. gosh! That's beautiful. <gasps> wow. 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 Holy oh. moly. What was the inspiration for the red? I opted to paint all of the walls and the ceiling red so that it would make the room look larger than it really is. It, this was a teeny tiny office. I love it because I do love red. It's gorgeous. I'm so happy for my sister and for the baby. It's perfect. This is awesome. It doesn't look anything like the office at all. I love it. the gentleman does here. The gorgeous desk was what you got because you gave up all your furniture on the porch. My beautiful desk, I absolutely love it. I oh, love wow. the head bed. I, I just love this. It's gorgeous. Yes, the bed is fantastic, and it's all from Acme Furniture. I love that. This bassinet actually collapses. Wow. Great. Did you see how that baby bed just folded up like that? Where was that when I was having kids? Oh. Godmother of Hollywood, how do you feel about the space? It's overwhelming. <laughs> I couldn't ask for anything better. Aww. Those are tears of joy we're seeing over there. Oh, definitely. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm hormonal. You're making me cry too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this, ladies. Can you all stand to see more? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yep. Ah! Definitely. Your two daughters had a very tall order for this living room. Mark, run it down. OK, <laughs> jewel tones, earth tones, ultra contemporary, craftsman style, black, white, circular tables. Oh, and did I mention we were um, $1,500 short at the yard sale? <sighs> OK, this is the one that's making me nervous. Take off your blindfolds and see what you have. Whoa. Wow. Oh, I love my that. Gosh, this is wow. awesome. Wow. Oh, my cool. God, this is so cool. This is not our house. Oh, my God, look at the fireplace. It looks so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I kept looking at it. I didn't realize the fireplace. But I, that's a fireplace. And that's so what it looked like underneath I, all those mirrors. Well, I'm glad you think that, Jackie, because that means mission accomplished. I think that's fabulous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aww. You OK? It really looks good. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that those are tears of joy and that that means none of us have to sleep with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss the piano in here? No. <laughs> yes. Well, let me say the first step in this room really was layering the ultra contemporary. And thanks to our good friends at Outer Limits Incorporated, I was able to choose three fantastic pieces the sofa, and the two chairs, both of which I had upholstered for you. I love the lion. That's a lioness's kind of right here, right? OK, here we go. They're going to say something about them greyhounds. OK, well, if I can set the record straight. <laughs> That's a lion. Chris is the lioness. OK. And you two are the kissing greyhound. <laughs> 
as a reminder that you can get along. <laughs> the orange greyhounds are amazing. I would love to invite you ladies to step into your dining room area. Oh my oh, wow. gosh, this looks great. I love these chairs. Wow. Those red chairs look great. They pop and they, they just make that room vibrant. So I really like, I can't wait to sit on them. I actually promised that I would get two desks in your home, one for you and one for your mother. And this one here is the one for your mother. I think that's fabulous. You really did a great I job. Really, I, job. really putting all our, you know, just all that mishmash of yeah. craziness we gave you and put it together. I think it looks gorgeous. All right, ladies, I have one more thing that I need to show you. Now, when we came out to your little sunroom before, it was full of all sorts of mayhem and foolishness. Now, it's what we've coined a baby station. Take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Wow! wow. Oh, my oh, my gosh! gosh that's so cool! cool. Oh, oh, my gosh! Oh, oh my I love, gosh! I love the color. It's so all beautiful. The... I love it, you guys. OK, 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 can't do this. Oh my god! Is this what I put the baby on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow. It's, oh my gosh! This it's is great! Beautiful. Come on over here, new mother. Let's have a little <laughs> chat. <laughs> Tell me what the tears are about. It's just a dream come true. It's beautiful. Thank oh, you. So cool. It's so perfect for my little baby. That baby station is amazing beyond anything I ever thought. We actually put in some freestanding alpha from our friends at the Container Store. And we went to Kidsland USA as well to wow. get this fantastic changing table, which just so you know, turns into an activity table and then into a desk as the baby grows up. Oh my God. So you wow, can so use it. That is, it's beautiful. That is so... I love it. Has anyone noticed that the sisters haven't argued once? Well, do you know what happens right now? Yep. We leave you here to enjoy it all. All right. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. As the godmother of Hollywood, I do approve. Thank you. Fantastic job, gang. Well, our work here is finished, and we did exactly what we came to do and then some for Patricia, Jackie, the new baby, and the godmother of Hollywood. Baby, we clean house. When we first got here, clutter was driving this family apart. But through a little clean house intervention and a whole lot of love, we brought them back together. Now there's sisterly love, the girls are loving their mother, and everybody's loving the new baby. So I know exactly what you're thinking. Oh, Miss Niecy, what about me? When can I be now? Well, I'll never tell, huh? It only happens one family at a time. <clears throat> Too much? <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Look at this thing. This How is... cool is this? Oh, I see diapers, I see onesies, I see dolls. I will actually come over and have dinner with both of you. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm so happy I trusted my girls. They certainly didn't let me down. Thank, Thank you, you Clean House. house.